Once upon a time, this was an ordinary street. Today, it looks rather similar, just with the occasional tank in someone's back garden. This is Winnie Hill, Catrick's all singing, all dancing urban training area. Right, they're coming. I can see an orange jacket. See him bombing across the field. Not yet. Now, now. Go, go, go. We're halfway through a, a large end of serial uh, final exercise uh, with Sea Squadron, Royal Dragoon Guards. Uh, traps behind me are in reserve, uh, pushing up into this, uh, the buildings behind us, which is currently being taken. The Royal Dragoon Guards are in training for a deployment to Estonia early next year. It means teaching urban operations to many who've never done it before. So obviously, the urban environment's a very complex area and uh, it's exactly what we need. We, we need a bit of complexity, confusion um, and congestion within the, within the fighting area. So very realistic and uh, something that, you know, as a squadron, we, we, it's not our bread and butter, but so we're, we're giving it a, a bloody good go. I believe this used to be part of the, the Pads estate. Um, however, I, I think it probably looked quite nice in its day. Winnie Hill has recently had a facelift. £1.2 million was spent creating what's boasted to be a state-of-the-art facility. There's 13 new buildings, technically shipping containers, with mouse holes, trapdoors and reconfigurable internal layouts. There's even an air delivery platform where soldiers can practice multi-storey attack and helicopter and rope training. The aim was to create a cluttered, congested environment, similar to what soldiers may be operating in in future. A very different scene to the simulated villages of Iraq and Afghanistan. There, there are ISO containers, uh, there's no point beating around the bush, but the nice sort of PVC fronts they've got to them, it sort of adds a, a, an element of reality. And useful for the sort of environments you might have to operate in? Yeah, exactly, yeah. So um, more sort of complex environments. So. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. Covered in CCTV and uh, once we call stop, 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 uh, we've got iPads and what we'll do is we'll go through and review uh, each you know, room clearance and we're able to sort of say, right, well that was very good, the lead man did something good there. Could maybe have thrown a grenade in this one, should maybe not have thrown a grenade in this one. A squadron from 2-1 engineers will deploy to Estonia alongside the Royal Dragoons. Lieutenant David Hawksworth is one of them and has joined this week's training as an instructor in urban operations. Uh, Winnie Hill's a really, really good uh, facility. Uh, we're quite lucky in the north to have something like this. Some of the equipment that we have here um, is only available at Salini Village and Senny Bridge in, in Brecon and, and Salisbury Plains. So for a northern unit to have this kind of facility on our doorsteps, we're really lucky and uh, we'll be definitely looking to utilise it a lot more at unit level. So we're going to stay here. You'll boot it in and then we'll just around you just go on to the back of the section, yeah? Sea Squadron have also been training with Simunition, paintball-like cartridges which hurt when you're hit. Is there? Yeah. Drop down, get down there. Don't open that door. Is that clear, that hallway? Use of munitions is really good because it actually gets people to think about the drills. Sometimes easy consistently using blanks to sort of act robotically, but you actually have to think with simunition because when it does hit you, you do know about it, obviously. Not only have you got the paint marks, but you've got the, uh, the welts and bruises that come with it. If you get shot with simunition, you know about it, so you definitely want to be more careful and do the drills properly to make sure you don't get shot. Does it hurt that much? Yeah, that's quite a bit, to be fair. Is it? Yeah. There's a lot of new lads that have come through that have not done this at all. Um, bearing in mind operations have um, stopped quite a few years ago. There's, um, there's a lot of inexperience. Ideally to put a, a platoon attack in after only three or four days of training, I was expecting it to not go as well as it did, but I've, I've actually walked away thinking that was, that was really, really good. Um, so, so I'm actually happy here. This place has come on leaps and bounds since I've, I've last come. Good to see that some money been going into it in a, in a proper way. Um, they've kind of dressed up their outside of the buildings as well, so it's, it's not just an ISO container. It actually looks like a, like a room. Inside looks, looks really good as well, so it's, it adds a lot of realism to it. It's been a useful week for Sea Squadron. Their next pre-deployment training will see them head to Canada if COVID restrictions allow. By 2021, they'll be mission ready for Estonia. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.